We're back in the drylands and back in the Sahara and the Nile section. Today we're building the last enclosure I got planned for this part of the zoo. A simple little habitat for the fennec fox. Of course we cannot do a Sahara area without them. This small enclosure is built on the back side of the stable and staff building behind the zebras and legways. And you'll get to it by going through the aviary we built the last time. It's a fairly simple design so not that tricky to build. But since it is quite small it did give a bit of complications, but not as many as it did with the Nile monitor. And the fennec foxes actually seem to have some quite good hitboxes compared to most small species in this game. So I could pretty much add all the details I wanted without the area losing that much of the traversable space. What can be a bit problematic with building small habitats like this is that it can be hard to find space for enrichment items and similar. Since this is sandbox it's not really a big deal, but without them you do miss out on some unique and fun animations from the animals, which is a bit of a shame. The biggest issue I ran into while building this was some kind of a bug I believe. When I first put in the animals they couldn't move at all. At first I thought it was because it was too slim so the hitboxes wouldn't allow them to move. So I ended up stopping the recording to see if I could fix it. What I found out was that the problem seemed to be tied to part of the mist barrier, even though I'm not completely sure about this. There was a small area where it was difficult for me to be allowed to build the barrier and even if I managed to do it anyway then the habitat would not work. Therefore I had to expand the enclosure a little to avoid this issue. I decided not to include this part in the video since there was not really much new in it. So at some point in the video you'll see the fox move into the enclosure and shortly after the building and the habitat will look a little bit different than before. But it might be hard to notice. I've always planned to add the fennec foxes to this zoo but it ended up taking me more than a year to finally do it. When I started this zoo I built an African area with focus on the Kalahari and Namib deserts so the fennec did not really fit into that. I knew I wanted to add a Sahara area but it's first recently that we have gotten more animals for that part of Africa. At the moment I don't have a lot of content up for the first African area I made but I think we'll dive into it a bit soon now that we are done with this section over here. The old African area is lacking a bit of details and some of the enclosures I want to change completely. Some of it I have built more than a year ago and I feel like I can do it better now. Some of the habitats feels too small and like they need more detailing so I need to deal with that somehow, even though I'll never really get done with this park if I keep redoing stuff. The speed build is going to show you the most of the work behind the enclosure here, but at the end of the video you'll get to see a bit more than that. Since the enclosure is small I want to make the area in front of it interesting for the guests. I'll build a little plaza with a small coffee shop so this can work as a little pit stop on your journey around the park. So that is something extra you can see at the end of the video. You might also be able to sense a bit of some backstage holdings for the hoofstock species in this part of the zoo. There's still a bit of work in progress so don't mind them too much. I'm planning on making a walkthrough video of the whole Sahara and the Nile area. But before I do that I want to finish some backstage areas, make some signs for the animals and perhaps just have a second look at everything. See if I should add some more decals or other kind of details. Try to make it look as good as possible before we move on. I did already start to work a bit on the new custom signs for the park, which you'll also get to see the first example of at the end of the video. I've tried to come up with a simple design that would fit every part of the park. I've used a minimum of text on it since I think the visual artwork is more important to focus on in Planet Zoo, since nobody ends up reading them anyway. But I think we'll go more into that in another video. Today will just be a little teaser for it. My last couple of videos seems to have made a lot of new people stop by the channel. I really appreciate all of you who enjoys watching what I can create and don't mind my Danish accent. There are many Planet Zoo channels out there so the fact that more than 200 people want to subscribe to mine means a lot. And if you got any feedback or suggestions to what I do then that is always welcome. And now we are just about to finish up the build here. So in a moment we'll move on to the cinematic shots where you also get to see the little area I made in front of the habitat. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video.